Welcome back to Sunrise Daily. Well, we're turning our attention now to, um, well, a very interesting one. Uh, we do remember the Serap only recently did uh, ask the Speaker of the House of Reps to uh, perhaps throw away a certain bill. Now, that bill uh, was proposed by Honorable Linus Okorie, who is a member of the House of Reps. He joins us from our studios in Abuja. Good morning, and thank you for joining us today. Well, the, uh, that bill... People have called it different names. First of all, could you explain to us uh, this is it, is economic bill? What is this bill about? Because there are many who think that the bill is trying to give or provide a safe haven for those who have looted the funds of this country. Thank you very much, Chamberlain. Good morning, Nigerians. Um, I, I'm happy to have this opportunity once more to <clears throat> talk to Nigerians um, about this bill. Uh, yes, let me say the bill is not, uh, unfortunately, had been misconstrued by the Nietzsche media report that said this is um, a, a looter's bill. It is not. It is actually a bill intended to recover all incomes, tax evaded, because that is the only way through which you recover uh, revenue for government from persons and entities within the economy. It is a bill that's intended to look at the very pathetic state of our economy, and given the fact that over the years, if you like, from 1960, or if you even like, take any short time 30 years ago, that so much money had moved out and so very few people are under the tax net, and a lot of that money remains outside this, if you like, in the black market economy, and government and Nigeria takes no benefit from it. So, and we're talking about individuals, we're talking about companies. These people, when you talk about looting, you're only talking about public office holders and maybe politically exposed persons like politicians. But the majority of the economic players in the system are not these people, this band of people. So, it became very frenzied when the report came that this is a looter's uh, amnesty bill. The truth is that it is a bill that was brought with an intention to look at the very, very difficult situation we had where so many people do not pay tax, do not pay enough, do not really declare income. And we are aware also that inclusive of even people also in office or these exposed persons, a lot of money has also passed through them. So all this was intended, and it's not intended to be a bill that continues to operate as the economy operates. But it's a bill that intended, from, if the bill becomes law, from the day the official gazette says it takes effect, it looks backwards and not forward. So it is actually an income declaration and recovery bill. And that's why it was probably titled, it was titled a bill, Voluntary Taxable Income Recovery and Amnesty Scheme, the scheme. And let me, at this point, in this opening gambit, say that it is basically the same thing that the federal government, two weeks later, propagated through an executive order signed by the acting president on the 29th or thereabout of uh, June, which was titled Voluntary Asset and Income Declaration Scheme, and also gave immunity to all those who take advantage of the declarations within the period of 90 days that uh, that bill proposed. So this is not a bill intended to provide for looters. But you know, we're talking about public uh, uh, media management and public perception management. That aspect was the lead that came out from the media initial reports, and it, it went that way. And we're almost losing uh, a focus on the fact that we're talking about recovery, increasing asset uh, tax uh, base, and capacity to generate revenue for this country and get from all that have been lost before now. Honorable Corey, in coming up with this uh, proposed bill that uh, you're looking at, were you mindful or did you consider the impact of this particular bill on the judicial system of this country? Yes, definitely. As a matter of fact, it is because of